Hard, harder, hardest. The Red Bull Romaniacs. You could say, what doesn't work does not apply. The world elite in endurance sports show us that more or less everything is rideable in Romania. The event Romaniacs. Rally organizer and passionate motocross rider Martin Freinandemitz prepares something new every year. The off-road event is the most difficult enduro rally in the world ever. It is one week long, over 100 kilometers through the Carpathian Mountains, and this rally has all the challenges of off-road competitions, high mountains, thick forests, deep mud, and slippery river passages. The Romanian Dakar competitor, Romeo Duncan puts it on the line. Bravo, Martin. You tried to kill us, but it's impossible. In the middle of the European cultural city of Sibiu is where the prologue start takes place. The starting riders for the almost 1,000 kilometer off-road test have a purpose-built course going over ramps, tree logs, tires, and even cars. The more experienced motocross riders thunder through the terrain and others jump off their bikes. After two technically demanding rounds, even the professional riders are happy that it's all behind them. Out there, it's like a war. I didn't imagine it could be like this, but the guys really fought their way through. I feel they will remember these 15 minutes for the whole year. Back in 2004, the course took the form of a flower around Sibiu, and the 844 kilometer course had an altitude difference of around 46,000 meters. However, this year, Martin Freinandemetz, the organizer, wants to set an even tougher benchmark in enduro sport. After the idyllic start, it gets straight down to business. Steep climbs and descents for every trial specialist a delicacy and for every normal motocrosser a torture. The GPS isn't working. You need a good sense of direction to make it through the thick forest. GPS reception is poor and the route guide is hardly even noticeable. Every now and then you have to make a check. Once I looked down at my GPS and in that moment a limb hit me in the face. Since then, my nose runs a bit, but otherwise, everything's good. In the middle of no man's land, in cases of emergency, you have to improvise. The equipment is limited, spare parts, oil and gas, you receive at your next tanking station or at the finish line. In the latter part of the course, my clutch got so hot that it blew out and I put some oil on it and it seems to be functioning now, thank God. Shortly afterwards, the compensation for all the troubles. The route leads over a mountain range with a fantastic view towards the gateway of Sibiu. I've ridden a lot of races in my life, X-Track and stuff, but this race puts the others to shame. The final showdown of 2004, a race through the middle of the picturesque city of Sibiu, continuing up to the old Ceausescu factory area. Cyril Dupre, multiple winner of the Dakar, convincingly wins his first Romaniacs title. And Alfie Cox, the Roof of Africa winner, just misses a podium finish. I would say, in four days, one of the most difficult races I've done. Bartosz Oblucki came in second, 36 minutes behind the winner. And meanwhile, the veterans, Cox and Tyner, needed an hour longer. The course route in 2005 was 20 kilometers shorter, but not easier. It included a disastrous overnight stay in Petrosani. The day began aptly with a ride through a ravine and a deep water passage. I know we all stink pretty bad, so Martin must have thought we didn't take showers. So the first thing he does is runs us through a river. First thing I do, fall in the river. In 2005, it rained a lot, which made the rivers deeper and the mountain passages even more slippery. They were forced to their limits by either riding or pushing their bikes through the riverbeds. Even older pros like Thomas Gunter from Algo had their difficulties. We couldn't even ride down that. You just held onto your bike and you slid down it. This is totally crazy. I've never seen anything like it before. It's like riding a sledge. Crazy. Not typical for a race is the lowering of the bikes over a river for Rider de Prey, an unimaginable operation. This Martin is crazy, I tell you. The, part of the descent over there, it threw me off three times. It's amazing. Martin, 
Romaniacs, so far is awesome, but uh, when I get back to the hotel, I'm gonna find a doctor for Martin because he's mad. And this statement from Daryl stands for the general opinion of all the riders. But there were also some fun passages, similar to bobsleigh runs, where you could really open it up. A hideous awakening the next day in Petrosani, the day greets the riders with a bad weather front. Muller fell down, but he was lucky. I came around the corner and saw his bike lying down, about five meters from the river. It took eight men hand in hand to carry it up. <laughs> Cyril Dupre, a multiple winner of the Dakar, drove home to victory with over two and a half hours advantage. In 2006, it was the year of the big giants. The rally goes through all of Romania, not only a challenge for the riders, but also for the logistics. A convoy of 85 vehicles and 100 motocross bikes fight through over 1,200 kilometers of terrain across the whole country. The start is in the city of Bucharest for the first time. It took a month to prepare the 40,000 square meter area in the heart of the city for the prologue. And as an added bonus, the Count Dracula castle and its myths. Dracula! <laughs> Cyril Dupre felt the wrath of the myth by losing his navigation equipment in the woods. He didn't have the time to admire the spectacular and wonderful castle. Something crazy happened. I lost my GPS. Uh, it was in my arm. It was in my arm and, uh, and I lost it uh, in the middle of the forest, in the middle of the mud. And I find it again after 10 minutes and... Uh, it was crazy because without I can't go, I can't go, keep going. And... Normally on a stage of 180 kilometers, you wouldn't have found the little GPS again. He was extremely lucky. But then the next bad news. Shortly afterwards, Cyril's old injury forced him to retire. Uh, I'm out of the race. I decided to stop, the, first of all, because um, my arm, it's really, really painful. The two-time Dakar and Romaniacs winner Cyril Dupre is out. So who's leading the race? The hot favourites, fellow countryman Mikel Gao, Alex Antor from Andorra, and world champion Giovanni Sala from Italy, who seems not to be very pleased with his bike at the moment. You, putana, you piece of junk! Put... This is a shitty bike! I hate you! <sighs> not only for the pros, but also for the amateurs, it becomes more demanding. The race course lies often away from civilization, and that's why both the experts and the hobby riders start in teams of two. They said today was easy, eh? My God. If the organizers think that's easy, we're in big trouble. Gorgeous mountains, beautiful views, and not enough time to enjoy them. That's the Romaniacs. Meanwhile, Gao wins the last stage and fights his way up the six-story high-rise block on the boulevard in Sibio, while Sala is still somewhere out on the course. Team battle, a la Romaniacs. Hour. Okay, what can I say? Nobody passed me. I had a really good ride. I had no mechanical problems. The course was absolutely amazing and I had enough advantage that I could take it a little bit easy. It was unfortunate that Cyril fell out, but I won, and I'm just so stoked. Giovanni Sala arrives at the finish an hour behind. The finish was good because it was a six days very hard. We find some problem, different problem, like enduro, very extremely. Injury related. For the enduro rider Cyril Dupre, the hat trick was not completed. But the title of the hardest endurance rally stays in French hands by way of Michel Gao. In 2007, the race course was being ridden forwards and then backwards. A nice but difficult concept to ride. Greek Romania! Whoever thought it didn't get worse were kidding themselves. Right in the beginning, it starts with a steep mountain climb, then down through the forest, and then 2,400 meters upwards into the snow. The complete tour has over 58,000 meters of altitude change. And the big surprise is New Zealander Chris Birch. Yesterday in 15th, he came in one minute behind Sir Alder Prey to finish the second stage. It's amazing, yeah, it's, it's yeah. literally more than I ever dreamed of. Um, I only came here hoping that I'll be able to finish and to lead, to win a day is just, it's amazing. 
Then the difficult 1,000 meter climb of Turner Rosu, where the motorcycles were close to overheating. As a result of this, the riders gave the section this name. Koka Passage, it's incredible. The reward for all the effort, an enjoyable ride over 2,000 meters high with an astonishing view. Then another highlight in 2007 was the seesaw over the river Zibin. It's not true. It's really not true. What? It's only for uh, trophies. It, no, no, for everybody. I'm a hoppy oh, rider. Yeah. Hoppy, you know? Yeah, yeah. Ah, slow. Coffee time. It's a wippen. No bridge. It's a wippen, yeah. His suspicions were right. Many of the riders went for a bath. <laughs> Up until his accident, Michel Gau was leading, but a broken arm prevented a second victory for the Frenchman. And here's a closing treat. This steep climb upward towards the finish line by Hermannstadt, passing the Bismarck Monument on the city's outskirts. It was a very long day. I lost so much time and left it all a bit late because I was waiting for Michelle. I didn't know how far ahead the others were, and afterwards I rode continuously through, hoping to find my rhythm. But the big surprise was Chris Birch. The amazing places they take us. The just that you get right up on the mountains, you can see so far, it's, it's, there's nothing else like this in the world. It's just amazing. 2007 was again dominated by the Dakar and two times Romaniacs winner, Dupre. Gerhard Foster came in second and the newcomer, Chris Birch, in third. And they have all registered again for the 2008 race. Also on the cards are new prologue obstacles, deeper mud passages, never-ending zigzags, extremely steep climbs and death-defying descents. The challenge will be the Romaniacs 2008. I think for absolute fun, you can't beat Romaniacs. I want to be there because it's a dream to ride. I know what it means to arrive at the finish line. I'm really excited about it. 720 kilometers of hardcore endurance with ups and downs of 51,000 meters. It's going to be harder than ever before. And maybe that's the reason why they all keep coming back year after year. Red Bull Romaniacs, we're out of here. <laughs>